So we do a lot of PF Sense builds, and a lot of times for my corporate clients, I just buy the PF Sense boxes as they come with uh, support, and I've really never had a problem with them, really solid. But a lot of people ask me, what else can I use, and what can I save a few dollars on? Well, these are pretty cool. These are the uh, Protect Lee, I think that's how you say it, Protect Li, uh, model FW1048. You can buy them on Amazon here. And they're not generally expensive. Now this is the firewall micro appliance uh, with gigabit LAN ports. Now the specs on this are pretty good. It is a quad core bay trail processor, eight gig M SATA, four gigs of DDR3 RAM and four gigabit ethernet ports. Now as you can see, these boxes are passively cooled and I'll take it apart and show you kind of the innards of it, but it's pretty neat. There's no fans, complete silent operation. You get in the box, the unit, power supply, power cord, mounting plate so you can bolt it to a wall. This is actually really nice. Now the unit itself, all metal, all steel, all the way around. Even the bottom, this isn't plastic, so it's really solid. It's actually a little heavier than I expected. Uh, the gigabit LAN ports all looks nice. Link lights, power light, hard drive activity. It runs on 12 volts. So uh, let's take a look inside. I will note on taking this apart that the screws feel kind of soft and like I was almost going to strip them pulling them out. Uh, they did show little signs and one of them was a little bit cross-threaded, but overall not bad. So as you can see, we actually have uh, four gigs, standard DDR3. We have a solid state M SATA drive, eight gigs. And that's what this one came with shipped for 279. Now, kind of a bonus, you get a secondary M SATA on this. So if you had another M SATA drive you want to add to this, you could actually put two drives in this. Pretty cool. Then we have our two USBs, power, a solid design, just everything's metal, even these little side pieces. Uh, literally the only plastic thing in here uh, was the power supply. Everything else is completely metal. And it just feels really well made. It feels well machined. The edges aren't uh, rough or anything. I'm not going to cut myself on them. So uh, they did a good job. Feel, feels pretty quality here. All right, let's 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 put this back together and dig into the performance. Oh, and as you can see inside of here, you are looking at the CPU and they mark, they glued these screw holes so you can't take them out easily and so they probably won't back out from vibration, but the seat heat sink has, and I can see some, uh, looks like some paste between there or a heat sink pad, so the heat passively goes to the top of this. You know, it is a fanless design, and it looks like it dissipates the heat really well. So let's give it a try. So out of the box, these come installed with PF Sense when you ordered them from Amazon at the link I have below. And I, think that's nice of them. I don't trust third parties to load it, so I went ahead and downloaded it again and reloaded PF Sense on their latest version, uh, which was September 27, 2016. That's the latest as of uh, December 2nd, 2016 here. Now, I did some load testing, and of course, that's what I'm curious about is, can it speed and how much speed can it handle? So uh, let's do a real quick test here. And I've actually already done several tests before I started the video because uh, I wanted to let it run for a while and see if I can't heat it up. Now the CPU usage you'll see goes up a little bit and we're getting 816 megs per second. Not bad. So unless you have a uh, internet connection that exceeds you know, gigabit speeds, then this is pretty solid as far as uh, uh, speed goes, 819. And you know, this is fully configured um, box. now. Heat-wise, I've had it running for several hours. I let it run under full load as long as I had patience for, which was another hour or so. Uh, the highest temperature achieved um, was sometimes 48. Mostly it was 47. That's under constant full load, which I've just finished doing, so it's still coming back down. Uh, after this sits for a while and you just leave the box at idle, uh, the temperature goes all the way down to about 45 Celsius, sometimes all the way down to 42. And then ambient temperature, let me look right now. Ambient temperature in my office is 73 degrees. So uh, not bad, it's uh, 73, uh, what is that in Fahrenheit? I don't know, I'll figure that out later. So 
it's not that hot. It's uh, obviously 46 is pretty cool to the touch as far as like the top of it. It's not that hot on top. I don't have a thermal sensor to, uh, to prove it, but you can lay your hand on air and it's really minor. So I don't think there's any heat issues with it. Uh, performance wise, it flips fine through all the screens. I don't have any issues with it. Um, everything seems to work perfectly fine. It reboots really fast. That uh, M SATA drive definitely is good in this. Um, all the options I have configured. I haven't tried loading it up with anything like VPN. Um, it's not something that's gonna even be used on this for the client, but I'm sure it'll handle that fine uh, because it's got a nice quad core in it. Um, so you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, even though no, Celeron, it's quiet, of course, because there's no fan, so it's completely silent. I can't say quiet, I gotta say silent. Uh, my tests show that it doesn't have any problems doing you know, over 800 megs a second. So as long as your internet WAN connection is less than 800 megs a second, uh, you should be good to go. And uh, the performance is really good on it. So I really haven't had any issues. Um, it works well, it's a great little tool. And uh, for 279, for all the parts complete, it's a pretty solid PF sense build. So that's my review of the uh, firewall micro appliance by, I guess you want to call them uh, Protectelli uh, on their website. It, don't bother going to their website. As of right now, they really don't have much more information than what you can find on Amazon. But uh, overall, not, not a bad little product. Thanks. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. Appreciate it.